So ladies and gentlemen, here we are, brand new house that I moved into. And with the new house comes a new setup, probably not much different than before. We got the wall switched over and more foam pads than before. <laughs> and I know the question you all are asking, is Mobile Gamer still here? Well, let's find out behind door number one. Hey! Mobile Gamer! Where are you? Hello? He's gone! When you stick your thumbs up, there's four fingers pointing back at you. Oh, he's gone. He's gone, ladies and gentlemen. But just like Santa Claus, he told me he'll be back on Christmas Day. But enough tears, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into today's video topic for the first video in this brand new setup. And to start us off here, we're going to talk about everyone's favorite topic. And that is ships. You lie! Nah, let's just be straight here. I'm just joking a little bit. I'm just gonna say it as plain as possible. I think ships is the worst game mode in Galaxy of Heroes. And I think that's an opinion that a, a large majority of you guys share with me. And to start off this video, let's get a poll in the top right corner, wherever that may be. Let me know, do you like ships? Just say yes or no so we can have a baseline litmus test for this. Because in this video today, instead of making out why the Millennium Falcon is so awesome and how to counter the, the Millennium Falcon video, I kind of want to start off by talking about ships why it's the worst game mode and how to improve it because i think it has a lot of potential to be a good game mode it needs to stand out on its own so we're going to talk about that in a moment so let's just get this going and talk about why i think ships is the worst game mode in galaxy of heroes so of course i don't have actual evidence in terms of engagement how much money people spend on ships the what the one metric that i do have that could be a good indicator as to where the community is with ships is views now i've made uh what is it now 460 some videos on galaxy of heroes i know what's what are good topics to cover what are bad topics to co cover what are popular unpopular and ships is definitely in that unpopular territory so to kind of provide an example and some context of this I'm gonna just show you some screenshots of comparisons between what a legendary ship video would get and a legendary character video would get or a marquee ship or a marquee character you can see there's a wide variety of views between the two types of content generally across the board likes are lower views are lower average watch time is lower those are three big metrics for YouTube and that's kind of YouTube is a community-based hub and those are community factors that I look at when deciding what videos to keep churning out over and over again and ships generally for almost every single Galaxy Vera's YouTuber I'm not sure about Twitch and all that is usually the lowest viewed content among all the other stuff. So with that in mind, with why I think Galaxy Heroes is the worst game mode in the game between those metrics and just personal experience, I wanna talk about how we can make this game mode better because this game mode could have been its own separate game if it was fully fleshed out and fully developed. So I'm gonna give some ideas on how we can improve engagement in here, make it more exciting, and try to get those views for ships up to where a character level views would be for whatever the case may be. Let's just start off with what I think is the number one thing that has to be addressed in Galaxy of Heroes ships, and that is the quantity of ships and capital ships. I'm lumping two together. I had a list of six. I wanted a top five. It's nicer for the title. So we're gonna lump those two together. And the first problem that we have is that there aren't that many ships in this game and we there are so many iconic capital ships there are so many iconic just ships in general in this past millennium falcon event we saw the vader's executor that was playable just for the event we know that grievous he has a capital ship new gunray has one all these big characters had some sort of capital ship and yet we only have four in a game mode that is about two years ish old if i'm if i can think correctly off the top of my head we only have two legendary ships for the time span that ships has been around since 2016 and all we have to show for it is a chimera and a millennium falcon yes two important ships in the game but really there's not that much excitement going on with this type of content i mean i'm not even kidding i swear that in some months we get more characters than ships the in the whole entire year and i, I don't even think that's going to be a, a, an overstatement right there and the reason why i bring this up is because of this formula of releasing one ship every six months or whatever the case may be ships isn't ever changing it just stays the same everyone runs the same lineups sometimes these same lineups might be timeout teams like four or five minute battles or you go through everyone's reinforcements the game mode becomes very stale 
very, very quickly when everyone uses the same exact thing. We're starting to see it now with the Millennium Falcon, a, a huge iconic ship was released, it's very good, which it should be, and now the home one went from being the least used capital ship to one of the best capital ships in the game. We literally saw the fleet meta report flip upside down because of the release of the Millennium Falcon. Now, this would be cool if we constantly got new things like Jedi Knight Revan was released, we had Chewbacca, C-3PO, and Chewbacca and C-3PO are important for keeping the meta diverse and ever-changing versus ships. You get one ship, whether it's the Chimera or the Houndstooth or, or the Millennium Falcon within a six to eight month span between each other, and then everyone adopts it and just stays the same for the whole entire period. So honestly, the, one of the first things to keep this game mode interesting is just literally say, hey, we're going to add a huge patch. We're going to drop 20 to 30 ships into this game mode. It's going to completely diversify things. I think that's what they got to shoot for is adding a bunch of capital ships and ships that gets people excited because the reason why we play this game is because we look for the heroes, the galaxy of heroes. It's not called galaxy of ships. So if you have more ships that are attached to more heroes that we love, like General Kenobi or Count Dooku and whatnot, all these big characters, we might enjoy ships more. So between mixing things up in the meta, not having it be steel for six months you're also kind of re-inviting re the feeling that added us to the game in the first place which was to farm the characters we love so honestly that was kind of my biggest point right there we need more ships to make this game mode interesting because having like only 20 30 ships and then only a fraction of them are good for fleet arena not a lot of reason to be that excited about the game mode but Things start getting exciting when you have a large roster of ships and you start incentivizing and rewarding people for having a large roster. And that's usually where the raids come in. We talked about this for so long. How have we not have a, had a ship raid at this point in Galaxy of Heroes? And the obvious thought and example that people give over and over again is a Death Star raid, a Death Star run, whatever you want to call it. That would be huge. It's also an iconic and it's, it's a real life, it's a, well, not real life, of course, but it was a real movie raid, essentially. So bringing in all these ships and doing a Death Star raid, however they want to form it, I've pitched the idea before of doing some, like, worldwide raid where everyone around the world bonds together to take out a single Death Star located at Capital Games. Of course, logistics might be difficult to pull that off, but still, the point is, give us a raid of some sort because that stuff increases the excitement among people to kind of bond together and figure out how to blow up the, this death star because those iconic ship battles need to be brought in galaxy of heroes to remind us why we should even care about ships and with that in mind another reason to be happy about these raids is that because usually raids are attached to a very powerful character han solo general kenobi darth treya with ships if i'm not getting a, a special ship out of it whatever it may be um, it's not really that exciting to build up all these ships and gear up the characters associated with them because I only need a couple ships for a defense and offense or fleet arena, territory wars, and grand arena. Other than that, not much reason to go through all these other characters. So point number three is we need some more synergy. One of the cool things that we have with characters is that there's some wild synergy going on with the bounty hunters. They got something cool going on. Then the Sith have their thing. The Jedi have their thing. Synergy or even indirect synergy, like seeing how certain characters interact with one another. Really interesting, the theory craft. There's not that much theory crafting or synergy, in my opinion, for ships. Like when you're completing a team, you're trying to think, all right, what would fit this puzzle well? And you can you could probably come together like say, oh, sign would be great for the Sith or IG-88 would be great for the droids, or there's just a lot of ways to theorycraft and compose teams versus ships. It's like, all right, Millennium Falcon, check. You have a uh, Phantom, check, Ghost, check. All right, you're done. There needs to be other options. There needs to be more synergy, and that kind of pairs with the first point of adding more capital ships and adding more ships in general because there's n sometimes there's like no synergy at all. You just add these random ships in there just to fill up the slots. So we need some, some more logical connections when we're composing our fleet lineup and right now there's just really not that much out there and that just really comes down to the lack of ships that kind of support these variety of factions out there in space point number four that we gotta make and i think this one kind of might not happen because ships is kind of set in stone it seems at this point but it's a game and the game is always breathing it's always changing they could change it I think they just got to change how the ship, uh, the ship's, uh, the fleet arena operates in general. And they did try doing this with the ship's update that came out last year, uh, spring of 2018, where they added reinforcement abilities. They shrunk it down a little bit. So they had some start to make ships different. But still, for me personally, I think for a lot of people out there, 
it's still the same, similar to Squad Arena where you just go in, you might be timed out for a very long time. And when you think about how ship battles work in Star Wars, you don't just win the battle by defeating the ships, the, 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 the ships protecting the capital ship. You win usually by defeating the capital ship, blowing it up. And I think we gotta bring that old school Battlefront 2 mentality to Galaxy of Heroes and ships. And what we gotta do is attack the capital ships directly, not just the ships that are around it. The ships can serve as some sort of defense trying to protect the capital ship or just have capital ship versus capital ship. Who's gonna sunk whose battleship first? That's exactly what the game mode's gonna, that, that's what it needs to make it fun and exciting and different. It makes you wanna play. I, I think that would be really cool because each capital ship is commanded by a different leader in the Star Wars universe and each one had a different strategy. Thrawn is a bit more calculating. He's thinking ahead in the future. Maybe some other capital ships are a bit more aggressive, so they leave their defenses a bit open, but they might come at your capital ship a lot harder. So a lot of ways you can make that interesting to make a capital ship kind of mimic the thought process and the strategy of the leader piloting or leading that capital ship. So I think that would be something drastic. I don't know if they would ever do that, but I would welcome a change like that just to kind of mix things up because right now it's just it's not an interesting uh, game mode and then lastly feedback number five and i think this is definitely the most doable out of this whole entire list and that is let us pick the actual payout time for fleet arena now a while ago i thought they were going to do this i was really excited but when we actually see how this rolled out they really only let you change when your daily activities reset. So mine reset at 12 a.m., I can push it forward or backwards, but when it comes to your payout rewards, you can't change that, and I don't like that. Six and seven o'clock for me suck for doing two game modes that are almost identical back to back with Fleet Arena being the least exciting in my opinion. So the easiest thing to do, I think, is when I'm up in the morning taking the train to go to school or work, let me set this so I can do uh, Fleet Arena 8 a.m. in the morning. Let's do a paid out at 8 a.m. in the morning, and then 6 p.m. when I'm coming back from uh, coming back from school slash work to go home, and I'm on the train. Let me go and play Squad Arena then. So let me divide when I can play those two different game modes because when it's back to back, I don't want to spend two hours in a row on a mobile game. I don't mind doing it throughout the day at different times. So I think with these additions, at least a few of them, we can increase engagement and hopefully increase the excitement associated with ships and make it more exciting. And if the, if the game mode becomes more exciting, people will probably spend more money. Because if I had to guess, ships, there's not really as much money spent on ships compared to the characters. So I know there's a lot of people that do like ships as is, and especially there are people that love that there's low engagement because with low engagement, Engagement, it's easier to climb up fleet arena. So I know everyone's got an opinion about it Let me know down below. What are your thoughts? Do you like the game mode? Remember to hit that uh, survey in the top right hand corner and comment down below on how you would make Ships a better game mode. It has a lot of possibility It's just not getting the right amount of love and as I uh, called it before in an interview with the developers Ships is a neglected child of Galaxy of Heroes and indeed it is still neglected in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Comment down below and subscribe. Let's see how fast you guys can subscribe. I'll give you three seconds. There we go. Thanks for subscribing and be sure to stay tuned for more fun content. And as always, my friends. Rework, grieve us. Rework, grieve us. CG, get your act together and rework. Grieve us. Rework, grieve us. Rework, grieve us. Come on, CG, don't make me pray to Jesus. Rework.